If Jack Nicholson has done anything, it's that he changed the film industry forever. He took on roles that some actors wouldn't have dared to take. However, it seems that some of his more dramatic roles might have had an impact on his mental health. As a renowned method actor, Nicholson did everything he could to immerse himself into his roles. With rumors of memory loss, along with the public reveal of a huge family secret, fans can't help but wonder if the decline of his mental health is what led to his early retirement. As my plastic surgeon, surgeon always, always said, said, if you gotta go, go with a smile. <laughs> Remember to subscribe to Rumor Juice and click the notification bell so that you can be the first to know when we upload new content. When the actor was 37 years old, he found out that the woman he knew to be his sister was in fact his mother and the couple he thought were his parents were actually his grandparents. Nicholson had no idea about any of this until a reporter had decided to look into his family history and discovered the shocking news. It turned out that his real mother, June, had fallen pregnant out of wedlock, which back in the 1930s was considered a scandal. In order to avoid the shame, June's parents decided to raise Jack as their own son, alongside June, who they made him believe to be his sister. Sadly, both his mother and grandmother had already passed away, so he was never able to speak to them about the shocking news he had found out. Not only was the actor shaken by the revelation, but the whole world too. No one could imagine what it must have been like for him to find out that his family wasn't who he thought they were. Thus, so much of what he knew had turned out to be a lie. On top of everything else, because the news had been made public, there was no way for Nicholson to keep his family's secret out of the tabloids. It was a bitter way for Jack to learn that his childhood was a lie. What was even more bitter? The rest of the world now knew that too. When confronted by reporters about the scandal, Nicholson seemed to take the news by stride. I'd say it was a pretty dramatic event, but it wasn't what I'd call traumatizing. After all, by the time I found out who my mother was, I was pretty well psychologically formed. As a matter of fact, it made quite a few things clearer to me. If anything, I felt grateful. In the public eye, he shrugged it off like it was no big deal. But fans weren't so sure that Jack was as unaffected as he appeared to be. Nevertheless, he seemed to continue with his life as usual, charming all those around him and taking over Hollywood with his successful films. And he was so, he had so much power on screen, you know, has, uh, but it was just cool, you know, I mean, he, he made, he made everybody feel really, really relaxed. There's no doubt that Jack Nicholson is a Hollywood legend. He added crazy energy that the world had never seen in movies before, and the film industry was changed for the better. He proved that you could be a crazy and serious actor and still remain respected in Hollywood. Jack Nicholson as the Joker, I mean, it's like you don't even have to be a casting director. Right? Nobody even have to say anything. I mean, that was just everybody's first choice because he is the Joker. I mean, there's just no question about it. The fear is almost more like um, he's almost too perfect. He used method acting religiously when it came to approaching all of his characters, which nowadays is a style of acting that's often under skepticism because of the toll it can take on an actor's well-being. In preparation for his Oscar-winning role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, he lived in a psychiatric hospital as a patient and continued to live there even during the making of the film. Jack is not only a great actor, he's also a smart actor because he knows that better the people around him will be, he will be better. He was, McMurphy, even behind the camera. For all the guys, all the goons, all the loonies, you know, they were his guys, you know. He incorporated intense amounts of research and commitment for all of his roles in films like The Witches of Eastwick and his character of the Joker in Batman. When people saw his dark and disturbing character in The Shining, everyone knew that whatever he did to prepare for that role, it had to be extreme. When Nicholson was asked to comment on the death of Heath Ledger following his performance as the Joker, the actor only had this to say, well, I warned him. It seemed as an almost insensitive thing to say with all the shock and tragedy around Ledger's death, and people thought that Nicholson would have shown more sympathy for the actor, considering that they had both played the same character. It also left a huge question hanging in the air. What had Jack warned Heath about? Was it about taking on the dark role of the Joker, or was it about the substances that led to his death? The question remains unanswered, and still has people scratching their heads. 
Nicholson hasn't made a movie in over 10 years, and the last movie he made totally bombed at the box office and was ripped apart by movie critics. So sadly, the actor's last two raw on the silver screen wasn't a very good one. How do you know? Nicholson's last film's worldwide theater release recouped less than 50 million of the enormous $120 million budget. It was a rom-com with high expectations, undoubtedly because of the cast. It featured Reese Witherspoon, Paul Rudd, and Owen Wilson, along with Epic Nicholson. Fans thought it was going to be a hit, but unfortunately, it wasn't. Considering his last film wasn't a hit at the box office, Nicholson's fans are hoping that he makes a return to the silver screen in order to make up for the letdown of How Do You Know. Let's be clear here, the movie didn't do badly because of Jack. In fact, the actor was probably the highlight of the entire film. Considering that he's received 12 Oscar nominations, making him the most nominated actor for an Academy Award, fans want the actor's last movie to be as big of a hit as all of his previous films. I couldn't resist. I'll try to show you another one. I want to thank my fellow nominees. Thank you. <laughs> Sadly, the chance of the actor starring in another film is doubtful due to his early retirement. Nicholson hung up his acting hat in 2010, and it doesn't seem like he'll be putting it back on anytime soon. And it's not simply because he's retired. After starring in the hilarious Something's Gotta Give, he took a three-year hiatus, and for a while, people thought he was done with acting for good. Then, he made the grand return with his outstanding performance in The Departed that totally rocked at the box office, and everyone thought the actor was back for good. However, people couldn't help but wonder why the actor had taken the three-year break. Was he just taking some time to relax, or was there something bigger going on behind closed doors? Then, after his final film, it was confirmed that the actor had retired and would no longer be working as an actor. And this announcement left movie fans totally devastated. Was it because How Do You Know wasn't received well? Was Nicholson's ego bruised? With no explanation for his early retirement, it was then that rumors started to circulate, and it was alleged that Jack's mental health wasn't doing so well. There was a simple reason behind his decision to retire. It's memory loss. Quite frankly, at 76, Jack has memory issues and can no longer remember the lines being asked of him, revealed a source. As the years passed, the actor seemed to be seen less and less in the public eye. Fans couldn't help but be concerned. There were also reports that claimed he was becoming a hermit. In early 2015, the tabloids described Jack as a recluse, stating that he rarely leaves his home or dresses in anything other than a bathrobe. He lives like a slob, sources allegedly revealed. When asked about his retirement and the quiet life he's chosen to live, the actor admitted, I'm not going to work until the day I die. That's not why I started this. I mean, I'm not driven. I was driven, but I'm not. I don't have to be out there anymore. In fact, there's part of me that never really liked being out there. I learned how to function within out there. The actor never enjoyed his life in the spotlight and always saw it as the downside to being a successful actor. He always preferred to keep his private life private, and with his celebrity status, it was virtually impossible. The average celebrity meets in one year 10 times the amount of people that the average person meets in his entire life. When his family was asked about the quality of Nicholson's health and the rumors of memory loss, they denied all the speculations about his memory and loss of his mojo. He's doing great, Nicholson's grandson said. He's 100%. So, even after shutting down the claims that Nicholson's mental health is on the decline, fans still can't help but wonder if there is perhaps some truth to them. Some may think that where there is smoke, there is fire. We'll leave that for you to decide. However, when it comes to the actor's return to the big screen, fans shouldn't hold their breath. Jack has an epic film track record, and he's left his mark on Hollywood as it is. <laughs> hey. Are you satisfied with your career? Very satisfied. Um, Over and out satisfied. What would you like to be remembered for? My smile. He is without a doubt an acting legend. So perhaps he feels like he's done everything he's had to do with his career and is enjoying the peace that comes with a life away from the spotlight. Whatever the reasons may be, there's a part of everyone that secretly hopes he makes one last comeback to the silver screen. <laughs>